Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Denise from D. Rogers. Today I have an unboxing for a boy 10 to 14. My goal to show you these unboxings is just maybe to inspire you or give you an idea or um, help you find different resources. So uh, today let's show you this boy 10 to 14, which is my second favorite other than toddler boxes to box. So you'll see this, it's covered in an orange bandana. And when he opens his box, he will see this on top. So I can show you that. So right on top is a hat. This is a loom hat. I make these with a loom, looks like this. You can get these at Michael's or Joanne Fabrics. They're really easy to make. They come out really nice. And if you're worried about sending hats to people in warm countries, I have a story about a little uh, boy who received a hat that I made in Honduras. And his sister told me it was his favorite item in the shoebox and that he wore it in the shower. <laughs> so I thought it was the funniest story, but Obviously, it was well received and um, people in other countries, even though their country is very hot, what is cold to them may be warm to us. So I'm sure that they can use these items and I enjoy making them. And on the top, I have this little tag that says, I made this with love just for you. And the tags I found on a website called Joy with a Purpose. And you can just print out tags for anything that you make. It doesn't have to be hats. Um, I usually print these out like on a cardstock. So it's joywiththepurpose.com and she also has these cards that say um, I love you in 17 different languages that you can print out uh, and include in your boxes if you like. And she also has a couple other nice printables. So that's joywiththepurpose.com and I'll put that in my description. So the first thing he has is his nice hat. And then he has this iguana beanie. This was one that was, um, was either donated to me or was in my collection, but it's in perfectly mint condition. And I like to send kind of cool beanies for the boys. I like to always include a stuffy and sometimes it's hard with these boys boxes, particularly if you're including tools, but I was able to get him in, so he has a green Sharpie. Sharpies are good things to add. He has a calculator. He has a cross. This is from an organization called Cross the World. And if you send them a $15 donation, they will send you a hundred of those wooden crosses. Let's see, back here he has a coloring book. Creative Animals Coloring Book. Has some nice pages in here. Oh, these are really nice. This really doesn't have a theme, but as I started to do this box, it seems like the color orange kept coming up. So it kind of turned into an orange box. But uh, here is his notebook. This is a actually one of the folder notebooks that you insert paper. Another option for you if you can't fit in a regular composition book. And on this side he has, he has, oh this is awesome. Okay, so I have a domino set in here. And I had searched everywhere on how to play dominoes in different languages or just very simple instructions and I couldn't find them anywhere. So I sent an email to um, blessingsinashoebox.com to Michelle, and she came up with this printable, how to play dom dominoes in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different languages. So this is on blessingsinashoebox.com. You can print that out and include these with your dominoes that you send. So that is in his folder. He has a um, bookmark. He has some fun stickers. Just some fun stickers for a boy. 
and get these at Walmart or Dollar Tree. He has a pair of underwear. He has two Hot Wheel cars. And I think this is the Domino's. This is a bag that I got off of Oriental Trading. Drawstring bag, yep. And these are the Domino's. And I think the Domino's are ones that I ordered from Oriental Trading as well. I just didn't like the packaging. Came like in a, a hard, plastic so I wanted to put it in something a little bit more durable to last he has an uno card game I got these at Target recently on sale that I showed you in one of my hauls he has a really healthy school supply kit uh, with all the older kids I really try to include a lot of school supplies so in his um, pencil case he has a hacky sack. I got these on Etsy.com. He has a fidget spinner. I got those at RaymondGettys.com. He has a lip balm and glue stick in the little plastic packaging. He has a whistle on a lanyard. I ordered those from Amazon in bulk. He has pencils. Oh my goodness, colored pencils. He has one of these fun tip to tip markers that I got from the Dollar Tree. He has scissors. He has two erasers. He has a enclosed sharpener. He has a highlighter. He has some pens. more pencils and then some fun erasers soccer ball basketball I got those at Valentine's Day clearance some pencil tops and just a little fun googly eraser so lots of school supplies for that age group okay he has a shirt that I got from Walmart for two dollars it's one of those soft dry um, you know that they get wet they dry really quick material these are really easy to pack they fold up nicely and it's a soccer ball and this is a size extra large 14 16 okay and on the bottom of his box he has some tools I actually forgot that I packed these um, these I get from Harbor Freight. He has a hammer. He has a four-in-one screwdriver. So if you pull it out, you can switch the sides to a flathead or a regular screwdriver. He has a pair of tweezers. I think I got these in a set from Dollar Tree. He has a pair of pliers. I think these were from Dollar Tree. He has an extra sharpener in there. He has some zip ties. I got a huge set of these from Walmart for like 65 cents. And I've just divided them up amongst my boxes. There's so many things you can do with zip ties that I'm sure this young man will find some uses for those. This is a little kit. Um, I actually got this at Dollar Tree. It had screws in it. I took some of the screws out and put some nails in there. So he has some screws and nails. He has a um, tape measure and it's a carabiner tape measure and it's in inches and centimeters and I got this from Harbor Freight also. He has a pair of work gloves. He has a bar of soap and some um, nail clippers inside that I got from Amazon. And he has this really nice wooden comb. Uh, and I think Christy M 
introduced me to these. You can get these on Amazon and Volk. I really like the combs. They're a little expensive, but you know, I think about these boxes and I think about when all is said and done and you know, maybe they have one item years down the road. I think, well, maybe it'll be that wooden comb or maybe it'll be that wooden cross or something special I've included in my box. So I, I kind of pack with that in mind sometimes. Uh, he has a toothbrush with the cover. This toothbrush was actually donated by my dentist and the cover is from Walmart. He has a bag to carry his things home in. These were um, on clearance at Walmart for a dollar. He has a, um, a necklace that I made. These are really easy to make. Let's see, I think I took this out to show you. I get the crosses from Joanne Fabrics and I usually use a 40 or 50% off coupon. And then I buy this cording, this black cording, to make these little necklaces. And I like to include these in the older boys. Um, when my son was confirmed, he got a necklace like that and he wore it for the longest time. So um, I do think it's something that an older boy would enjoy. He has a pair of socks. I got this in a set from Walmart. He has two little fun Lego men. I'm sure I got these either at Target or Dollar Tree. He has some lenticulars, some fun for boy Power Rangers, and <laughs> SpongeBob. I got those at Valentine's Day. On the bottom of his box, he has he has his washcloth on the bottom. I got this from Costco in a big set. Very nice quality. And on the very bottom, to carry his tools in, um, I got him this canvas bag. Oops, that's a Valentine. Um, it says fun mallet. I don't know what that means, but these are really nice quality. They have a carabiner on the side of it but this is be to carry his tools in. I'll try to provide a link in my description below. Um, they're not cheap, but if you, you, know, you look and wait for it to go on sale, you can get them more reasonable. I find these just great items to add for their tools. He has a postcard from us from Maryland with our letter written on the back and then a picture from us, family picture. And on the bottom, he has his orange bandana. So that's my box for boy 10 to 14. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope it gave you some ideas or inspirations. And certainly if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.